Right, so I've been working in data for the past three years and I studied business management at the Grand École program in France. I'm making this video for my younger self because I remember scouring the internet for details on this industry, among others, before choosing to make a career in this industry. In this video, I'll touch on what kinds of jobs you can get in the data industry after studying at the Grand École program, what you need to have in order to get in, what the market is currently recruiting and how you can get into that game. This is possible. You can get into that game. If you don't yet know if data is the one for you, then you might want to spend some time getting to know yourself. I've already made two videos about this in the getting to know playlist but this video as it is has so much information in it that I won't be spending time on this. All right let's just assume that you watch those videos and you're interested in considering a job in the data world. The best way to get the jargon out of the way is to see what companies are hiring for currently and then doing your own research of what those words mean. If you want to be familiar with the European Commission website depending on the city that you're competing in for me it was Paris so I ate up this website trying to find out what are people really hiring for in in this place and it always helps to know the local trends in the industry that you want to compete in. There is so much information about the jobs available in the data industry itself for example and if you don't know what a word means add it to a backlog on a piece of paper or on an app somewhere and come back to research and read about it later. Stuff like customer success team is hot in the B2B software industry for example. To add to that there are words like project manager which, which you'll just see everywhere in the IT world but I was very specific about competing in business intelligence and I'll tell you later in this video how I got to that clarity. See so I studied digital transformation and strategy consulting at Edek Business School. There was a small section on business intelligence where they spoke about dashboards and KPIs and stuff but that was not sufficient for me to compete in this field. How I first arrived at that clarity and how I sharpened my profile is what I'll spend the next few minutes in this video on. I even made a presentation about this to students over at Edec Business School earlier this year where I was talking about how one can compete in a data heavy world. And there's this part in the research in those slides which fits perfectly into this video. If you think about a traditional business like a manufacturing industry, you have a couple of stages in the life cycle of a product. Each of these steps have a need that software can help with. Add these words to the backlog of the words you don't understand, look them up online and ask yourself what part of this life cycle is interesting for you. The more you read, the more questions you have for when you meet people that are willing to help you. And you will meet people who are willing to help you. I spoke about that last week. After some reading, I started asking questions about the interface between the data or IT world and the business world because interpersonal skills is one of my strengths. Once I learned about this word BI, of course it was also in my school curriculum, I just went to LinkedIn and looked for job descriptions where the title was BI Consultant. Before starting to apply, I spent a good couple of months just reading on these different job descriptions and seeing what kind of tasks a BI consultant does. Here's how I did the preparation for the BI part of it specifically, but this is extra extrapolatable to any other field as well. I had no experience creating dashboards in any of these tools, connecting from any of these data sources. That's the BI task, right? So when I got my first interview call at LTI, this Indian IT company, in the description they said that they're hiring a BI consultant for one of their large FMCG clients in Paris. I looked up which clients they work with in Paris and one specific client fit this description perfectly. I then looked up on Google which technologies L'Oreal uses. Back in the day, it was a lot of SAP ERP for the data sources and it was a lot of Microsoft on-premise for their data warehousing data storage. Now, because I wanted to compete in this field, I read about what is data warehousing and what is data sources, what is SAP ERP. I started reading about all of these things because I wanted to compete in this arena. You can also just search L'Oreal data on LinkedIn and you'll find a list of people talking about their job. They even write about the key responsibilities they currently have and there they mention the technologies that they're currently working with. This is public information on the internet if you know exactly what you're looking for. So when I isolated these technologies, I didn't have to read about everything. I just had to read about these technologies and what BI consultants are complaining about specific to these technologies. I started hearing about this whole discipline called data integration and I did not know which tools anyone uses for data integration. So I looked that up. All of this background homework just to predict what kind of questions will be there in the business case when I meet the recruiter for the first time and also to kind of predict what my everyday will look like when I have the job. The first interview with the LTI sales guy went pretty well and he told me about the need, what they're trying to hire. He then gave me a business case stating a large FMCG client. No surprise because it was on the job description. A lot of this in this area was probably common sense, but I'm glad I did my homework so I didn't have to rely on my common sense. I mean, I came prepared for the FMCG part because the description said that. I mean, which beginner knows the pain points of the FMCG industry? I've never worked there. How would I know? Thanks to my homework, I asked him, is this for the L'Oreal client from your portfolio? To which he said yes. And this made my conversation much more easier because I know the technologies that L'Oreal uses. From the little research I did, I also noticed that FMCG deals with a lot of data volume. Of course, everyone has data volume, but FMCG more so than the others. And 
and I assumed that L'Oreal back then was not on the cloud because news like this does not go unnoticed. If you just go to Google today and type L'Oreal cloud, you'll see whom they're currently working with. Back in the day, they weren't. I'm sorry, this is a lot of technical words, but I'm getting to the point in a quick second. <laughs> Wrapping this along with my data integration homework, I came across this Gartner Quadrant and I'm familiar with Gartner Quadrants from my internships in the cloud industry. And I noticed that there is one player which is leading the pack year after year. It was Informatica. So I looked up if LTI works with Informatica and it was a match made in heaven. And quickly I could put two and two together and predict already what would be the pain points of a BI consultant in this role and how I would tackle it. If it's not even clear what my pain points would be, then how would I get to the tackling part? I think this is what really helped with convincing the sales guy that I'm the guy for the role. I'm willing to learn and I'm willing to do my research. Now there's a lot of difference between not having any experience and not having any experience and not knowing anything. <laughs> even if your deductions are wrong, if it's not Informatica, for example, at least now you know that there is this need, a little more informed relative to not knowing anything. At that point, if I get the job and dig into why is Informatica the leader and what do the other players lack, I quickly have an opinion about which technology we should be using for this specific client. Just with Google, you can come so educated for your specific interview. Long story short, I got into LTI and when I joined in for the first month during the training phase, they gave me access to their universe of training. There was tons of education material which was recorded by experts over at LTI. They are really good at what they do and they give access to this to consultants who are now assigned to a specific client. Here's a hot take. As a junior, they're not looking for someone who has 12, 15, 18 years of work experience in the data industry. Even the recruiter is clear on this. So don't focus on looking like the expert. Instead, you want to highlight features like teachability, willingness to learn, capacity to learn fast, a can-do attitude, or a team player. These things are more valuable for a beginner. The deck I spoke about competing in a data-heavy world of business for the first 10 people that click on the link below will be available for four euros 99 instead of nine euros 99. This can help you do your research to get into the right IT slash data field. Buy your homie a coffee if all this formatting drives some kind of value to you. Josh, really nice information packed one. On certain segments, I found it a little too... Oh, I'm so sorry, Gokulnath. On the flag behind... Thanks. Thanks. I worked a lot on that flag behind segment. Hey, Joshua, I'm doing a apprenticeship in France, but not in PG... Not a PGE post-graduation. If you want, I can help you for one of your videos. Okay. Thanks, Kohli. Uh, thanks, sorry. Thanks, Ashita. Uh, reach out to me on Instagram, then we can have a conversation. I got 700 on GMAT and got accepted to EDEC MIM Finance Program with 35% scholarship. Congratulations. There you go. GMAT is not everything. Super helpful. Thank you. Thank you for this awesome edX related video. I'm going to start my MIM friend. I was hoping if you could create content on niece campus of students who have done that program, that would be super cool. Oh, and a content on paperwork and stuff will be... I already did a paperwork one. I don't know much about the finance field and I know Nice specializes in finance. I'll probably look up my LinkedIn to see if anyone is from there and probably feature them in one of my videos. My student's visa got refused saying les informations communiquées pour justifier les conditions toujours sont incomplets ou ne sont pas fiables. Is there any point in reapplying with the same college for the next intake? I don't know why they say that. How did you apply for it? I went by VFS. VFS is good. You can ask them for what flies and what doesn't fly. They seem to know what they're doing. Buy that premium feature they have where they sit you down and look at your documents and suggest changes. Thanks for asking my question, bro. Looking forward to the video explaining the industrial engineering. I should reach out to... Actually, it's Gokulnath, by the way. Gokulnath AR. I should reach out to him. Hi, Joshua. Big fan of your videos, especially learning French. Anyway, I've got some doubts regarding the MIM course you did in EDEC. I've graduated from a private tier 3 college in... Kerala with CGPA being six, will I be able to get into, let's say, EREC, ESAP, ESNN with this low CGPA? I answered this, come on, I've, I've done this before. Watch that low GMAT video. Long story short, the answer is yes, but you need a convincing profile. How to improve the profile at that stage? I spoke about that too. How did you manage your finances? I've spoken about that too. Exclusive questions are too much to answer all at once, eagerly waiting to hear from you. I mean, I'll write down the links to those videos, I guess. But yeah, check out the other videos, man. I always learn something new from each of your videos. Thank you for what you do and keep it coming. As an Indian who's just starting up in Paris, this was... Hey, thanks, man, Joel. Are you in Paris? Let's catch up. Such an amazing dude. I too am facing similar trouble with GMAT. You can do it, Shreya Kaul. There you have it, folks. Get to know yourself. Think about the product life cycle. Speculate where you'll fit. Reach out to people who are just a little ahead of you, asking them for their help and insights. Prepare for your interview and go get your job. Thanks for tuning into this one. I'll see you next week. Keep learning.